Hi everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scout Help on Facebook. <clears throat> um, I'm cutting some vinyl, some glitter vinyl. And I was going through <clears throat> working with the new Scan and Cut 2. And I noticed something. I have a 12 by 12 mat up. And I have the big 12 by 24 mat in. And it still allowed me to cut without giving me that uh, error message that I needed to uh, insert a 12 by 12 mat. So with the Scan and Cut 2, even if you have the 12 by 24 mat in and you have a 12 by 12 design up, it's still going to let you cut, which is really cool. So you don't have to uh, go back from the previous screen and then go into your settings and change it, which really wasn't that difficult. But still, it makes it really nice because that really speeds up um, your creative process. So I'm just going to take you through real quick here. So I already have, um, let me see if I can move this. Oh, good. Didn't go down there. Make this a little bit easier for you all to see. <clears throat> I'm excuse me I'm doing glitter vinyl so um, my settings on this one is a pressure of minus one um, I have I'm using my old mats um, because the scan and cut 2 does not come with the 12 by 24 mat of course so I have my old mat um, I have my old blade and blade holder that I was using with my scan and cut one um, so they're all interchangeable so you don't have to worry about that Okay, so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to hit Add. Uh, let's come into our save data. I want... Um, this is what I want. Uh-oh, it's a big old mess. Well, I don't have my design up, so I need to come here in my settings. And I need to change it to a 12 by 24. And you can do that right on that screen. So let's see here. Oops, let's click OK. Nope, let's come up here and click this. So I want to highlight everything. OK, and I know the other one is in that big box, so let's get rid of that. I click that button, that's the unify. So I want to unify that pattern. Click OK. So now let's get that and bring that down here. Okay, and with it being HTV, what do we have to do with it? We have to mirror it. And I like blowing it up just so that I can see. Make sure it's not going to be... Oh. Let's just mirror it first. Then we'll come in here. Because, yep, we can come up a lot farther now. Not that far. There we go. Okay, so I have my whole thing mirrored and we are ready to go. And a lot of you will use weeding boxes. I prefer not to. Um, but it's totally up to you. Um, that's a box that you can put um, around parts of your design. Um, I do have a tutorial on how to do that, but I prefer not to in my designs. Okay, so we'll hit cut and start. Now on this machine, on my old... Hang on a minute. On my old machine, I don't want to try to talk over that. On my old machine, my settings were a um, pressure of minus one, speed three, blade of two and a half. This machine, speed three, um, pressure of minus one, and my blade is at about a three and a quarter. Okay, so there's a slight difference there. All right. But that's how you go about, um, for me, that's how I do uh, cutting glitter vinyl. Um, and we'll see if there's some other things that I can get into cutting here. Okay, so we're still doing some cutting. Um, this, again, is vinyl, only it's regular vinyl. <coughs> Excuse me. This orange stuff is notoriously pesky. 
um, you can see right in here it started snagging and lifting okay so I immediately stopped it and you can do that um, you just hit the stop button all right stop cutting to restart press start stop button to quit cutting press the quit cutting key okay I don't do that what I do is I just hit the st uh, start stop button once I come in here oops sorry let me get this up here for you guys to see what I'm doing bear with me please okay so then I come in here to my tools come here cut speed I take it from a 3 down to a 1 my cut pressure I took it from a minus 1 to a minus 3 and then my blade depth um, I took it because this vinyl is not the glitter okay so it's not as thick I took it from um, a 2 and I took it to a three and a half because remember when you go down in pressure you have to go up in blade depth all right so I'll hit OK now let me get my camera <laughs> and my body out of the way and I'm gonna try to bring this in for you <sighs> now do you see the cut okay lots better it still has a tiny little lifts there but this vinyl always does it because it's not an adhesive there's no adhesive on this backing it's just what um, they call like a static cling so once this vinyl rips off, you can't get it restuck. You'd have to use that low tech transfer tape that I have. All right. So all of this is cut and there's no more of those ugly lifts. All right. So once you get that fixed, you're going to come back over here. Try not to get dizzy. All my jerking. And then you just hit start and it goes right back to where it was cutting it does not start all over again so don't worry it just goes right back to where it was and it keeps cutting okay so that's how you fix those ugly little things so that's how you go about adjusting your settings um, while you're actually cutting um, I know I've done a couple of videos of tutorials on how to adjust your settings um, for rips, the snags, the tears, um, <clears throat> but I wanted to do it while we were actually cutting. Um, so that's just a little bit on how to um, do some cutting with the, this is the 650W. Alright guys, if you have any questions, you can find me at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Thanks guys.